We've had 50 years together, and we just like to tell you, especially you grandchildren, some points, some points in time, some God moments when in our perspective, he showed up. And so we just started telling him stories like when I was a three-year-old in New York City and got scarlet fever and it went into a mastoid infection in my ears and the doctor said, if we don't stop it, it'll go into his brain, it could kill him. And I was healed. That's what they said. I was healed of that. And then Ruth surviving a fall out of a car when she was four years old and the car was going 50 miles an hour on a country road, but it had what they called back in the day suicide doors that opened this way. And she reached over to throw something out and it pulled her out and she tumbled and banged up her knees a bit, but she could have been killed and wasn't. It was a God moment for us, finding a way for me through 25 years of stuttering by the encouragement of people who loved me and by taking a drama class. That way I could know the words before I got to them and the matchless grace of God. It was a God moment. Or when Ruth and I were grad students and we gave our last $5 in an offering to missions and went home and that next day we got a $10 check in the mail. And you say, well, the check was already in the mail. I mean, you know, you would have gotten the $10. If you'd have kept the five, you'd have 15. Yeah, but it wouldn't be such a cool story. And it wouldn't be something that we felt we were supposed to do. Or even just Ruth and us, Ruth and I finding each other and, and hanging in for 50 years. We are such different personalities. I'm a city guy and she's a country girl and I've traveled the world when I was a little kid and she stayed just in a farming area. And then seeing lives transformed for a dozen years in Urbana, Illinois, when we were church planters, seeing old and young, seeing people in the trades and people in professions come to faith, homemakers and farmers, it was so exciting. And then just eight weeks before that 50th anniversary, Ruth had collapsed up in Estes Park, and many of you have heard that story. And it was just the grace of God and the skill of the medical community and the place we were, and we felt God's hand was in that. 